this is Rory Singh from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Uh, today I'm just doing a quick review in the back of the church. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just kind of funny here. I just noticed uh, I did a I just did a quick review here in another system, and it was talking about a congregation and member of the church who created his own uh, crypto platform uh, to lure people uh, from the congregation from the church into his deal. Anyways, today. Uh, I just have a little little bit of humor here. Anyways, today I'm talking about European-based uh, Ponzi schemes that seem to be targeting uh, Brazil. There, there are many Euro uh, European-owned um, anonymous people, but the systems are based out of Europe somewhere, and a lot of them, a rash of uh, Ponzi schemes that seem to be targeting Brazil for some reason okay um, anyways um, my um, my late stepfather um, is from Portugal so he's Portuguese and if uh, one thing I, I always remembered him saying and if if he was alive and I showed him something like uh, a crypto platform where you could retire uh, you know wealthy easily right based on a lot of the claims that a lot of these crypto platforms are giving you, he would say something like, to ej maluk, right? Which means like, pretty well you're crazy, right? My, <laughs> that's what my stepfather would say. Anyways, if, if he's seen what was happening nowadays, especially in this uh, make money online industry, all kinds of crazy stuff going on, people desperate to make money, if you are in Brazil, okay, uh, I was born in Guyana, uh, that's uh, borders you guys, right? Uh, came to Canada when I was three years old, grew up in the capital of Canada, Ottawa, Ontario. Um, we've got a lot of Brazilians uh, who reside in Guyana, right? Uh, a lot of the streets have Portuguese names, etc. cetera. Um, now, I've even seen um, some people marketing uh, crypto platforms in Guyana now okay so crypto seems to be all over the place but there is a great problem here and the great problem is that the great majority of people that are blindly investing end up losing money right we see it from time and time again so if you're in Brazil you've got to be kind of cautious okay um, first thing there's no such thing as easy money um, I know Brazilians are hard-working people in order for you guys to make money in Brazil, what do you got to do? You got to go out there and work for your money. I, I don't know. I never seen, um, uh, you know, uh, money falling from the sky, right? Um, so in every single industry, every single industry, including this make money online industry, you got to go out there and you got to work for the money, <coughs> which is called marketing. Okay. Um, another thing you got to think about here, especially if you're in, you're in Brazil or in any country. Uh, where these European-based, anonymously-owned schemes um, targeting everywhere, but a lot of them seem to be targeting Brazil right now. Uh, what, thing, what you need to understand here is, um, I keep saying it from time to time, that they're not registered uh, with the SEC or the equivalent of the SEC to offer securities uh, with any uh, government body in any jurisdiction. And um, securities is if you're offering people a passive income opportunity to make a return on your investment, then you're offering a person a security. Now, doing something like this, you have to be, you can't just create a system. You have to actually legally be registered with a government body to offer securities. <coughs> Even a bank uh, that offers some type of uh, return on investment has to register uh, with their jurisdiction to offer securities. Otherwise, it's illegal. But here's the thing. The thing is that a lot of the MLM, anonymous-owned MLM crypto deals, um, they would love, the owners, the anonymous people, um, would love to register to offer you securities legally, but they can't. They can't because of how they create revenue. It's MLM, meaning, uh, well, we don't even, I don't even consider um, crypto platforms an MLM because they don't have any products or services. A legitimate MLM is a brick and mortar business that markets its products through independent reps. 
Now, independent affiliates of crypto, they don't have anything to market other than the Make Money ROI membership itself, which is another gray area because in order to 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 uh, market uh, to do network marketing MLM legally, you have to have a product and service of value uh, to to sell to the marketplace to offer people. And whenever you don't, that's another gray area. Okay, so they can't register with the SEC. Um, I'm sure some of them, some of the anonymous people behind the scenes, have tried. Um, if they could, they would because it would uh, it would make um, it would make the system last longer, right? If it was le if it was legal. Uh, but the problem is. If a guy uh, says, hey, I own uh, an MLM company that doesn't have any products or services, but we have uh, um, uh, we created our own coin and we're getting network marketers to go out there and sponsor and convince people to invest into the platform, they would probably get either laughed out of the SEC government building or its equivalent in any jurisdiction, right? Because the government doesn't like anything to do with MLM, number one. Number two... Um, in order for an anonymously owned platform owner to create their own coins, all they got to do is have a couple programmers. They have guys in India. You pay them. I could do this, right? I don't want to do it. But a couple hundred bucks, pay some programmers, some high-profile programmers. These guys are good. Pay them a couple hundred bucks, and they'll, they'll set you up with the scripts to create your own coin. And to me... Uh, we got people in the U.S. and Canada talking about inflated dollars. And in the U.S., especially the feds, uh, the Americans are always complaining, hey, the federal bank is inflating the dollar. They're just creating dollars out of thin air uh, and, and bringing the value of the dollar. And then the, the working man's got to go out there and work even harder. But with the crypto platform, it, it, isn't, it, isn't it worse? It's like printing digital money even. You're not printing it, but you're creating a, a script or you're buying a script from programmers, creating your own coin, and then getting network marketers to go out there and convince people to invest their hard-earned money into the platform. And then what usually happens is um, these things can only last X amount of time. Um, something to do with energy, right? Once uh, enough people are pumped into the system, enough people open up their wallets, they only last X amount of time. And then for some reason, Either recruitment dies down or the leaders get bored or it just can't expand anymore. These type of deals end up in collapse and the great majority of people end up losing the lion's share of the profits of their money. The people who make most money are the anonymously owned, uh, anonymous people owning the systems. There's a reason that they're anonymous. They're hiding something, right? Um, because they have to legally, they don't want to be liable to pay or, you know, get fined or go to prison. That's why they're anonymously owned. Okay. Um, so these are just some things to think about. If you're in Brazil, beware, there's no such thing as easy money, right? Um, I'm going to leave you with this little story, quick little story here. I noticed a lot of the fast and, 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 and furious movies, a lot of them are, um, some of the, you know, some of their scenes are filmed in Brazil. They seem to like, I guess, the, the producers of the Fast and Furious franchise. Maybe they, they like Brazil, something about Brazil. Um, there was a Fast and Furious 5. Um, there was a guy, uh, Portug Portuguese uh, mafia guy. I don't know if he was a mafia guy, but he was like the villain in the movie Fast and Furious 5. I'm pretty sure it's Fast and Furious 5. It could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure... It's Fast and Furious 5, and this is just an idea here, because you got you got European-based crypto platforms by anonymous, anonymous European guys who are creating this stuff to make their, their to line their own pockets with money, and they're targeting Brazil, right? But in the movie, the in the guy, the guy was saying the Portuguese guy, he said uh, we wanted to take over Brazil. I guess he's talking about history. I don't know if this is a a, a fictional story or if it's truth. But he said in the movie, Fast and Furious 5, he said, he said, we stormed in with guns blazing. And he said, what did the people of Brazil do? They fought, they took, took out their own guns and started shooting us back. And we like had to run our asses out of the country. 
But he says then, then being European type of people that we are, uh, smart, we went in the second time and we offered them a uh, way for a better lifestyle, right? Um, running water, clean running water, parks for the, the, the little Brazilian children to play in, right? A better quality of life. And he said, we just gave him a little bit of stuff here. And he said, the Brazilians just bent over backwards and accepted our word. And we basically took over that country. Okay, hopefully that's not true. But that is a story. And the story seems to be happening every single day. Especially we got these crypto platforms going out there targeting Brazil. Um, so, moral of the story, there is no such thing as easy money. Okay, you got to go out there. Yeah, like in any other industry, you got to go out there and learn skill sets. If you are in Brazil, as an example, let's say you own your own business or you work for someone, right? What do you got to do for a paycheck? What do you got to do for a paycheck anywhere in the world? You got to go out there and get trained um, for some type of skill. And then you got to go out there and you got to learn. You got to go on practical experience, right? And then eventually you get a job or you start your own business. And then you uh, offer people products and services of value in exchange for your money but this is the only industry where the great majority of people who are joining are are looking for overnight success maybe not you who's watching this video right now but most people are looking for overnight success and they're looking for something for nothing isn't it true isn't it true okay but what i got to tell you here today is that the same rules of success the same laws of success they're universal in every industry especially the make money online industry especially because success in this industry creates freedom for you if you learn how to do marketing if you learn how to convert website traffic into dollars in your bank account on the back end then you can create freedom in your life so these laws of success are more important in this industry because this is the only industry that doesn't have a cap on your income if you learn marketing okay so I got a solution for you today and the solution is a powerful system underneath this video it is a powerful system a lot of people have come through the system lower below right I'm not making this up. Some of you guys are going to shake your head. Shake your head. I don't care. I'm telling you the truth. I'm going to keep telling you the truth. Powerful system underneath this video. Uh, one of the best systems. It's not the best system. But for me, it's the best system. Right? Based on a me, the type of person. You see, I know in order for me to make money online, which I do, I've got to offer people. I've got to leave you in a better position uh, than before you came in contact with me. I know this, right? You need to know this. You've got to leave people in a better position than before they met you, right? So I always do my best. I have to. It's my personality type. I've got to offer people value, okay? If I can't, if, if I try and market something that just has a good compensation, Oh, it's paying out 400% ROI. I'll crash and burn because on the unconscious level, right? I have to give you value. And if I unconsciously believe that what I'm sharing uh, is not going to help you, right? I can't make you do uh, go through the make money process, which is a learning curve fully. But if I could, if I know in my heart, that I'm giving you the best possible chance that I will do well. And most likely, <laughs> most likely the great majority of you who will watch this video are like myself, who at the unconscious level, you've got to see value in what you're doing or else you're not going to get any results. And most likely you won't even take action in your business. Okay. So hopefully you got some value here today. That's my quick video here. Unfortunately, we got a lot of European scammers targeting the people of Brazil <coughs> and many systems uh, that Brazilians are joining in hopes that they're going to, you know, uh, retire rich. A lot of these platforms even fool me. I mean, on the front end, but you see on the back end, I know that you can't get something for nothing. You always got to give 
to get. And that's the universal principle right there. Um, you've got to, giving is receiving. You can't just receive because you're never going to get, right? You've got to give. Hopefully you follow me. I think I screwed that up. You've got to give in order to receive because giving equals receiving. God's own laws, guys. I didn't make this stuff up. This just is, okay? So that's my video for today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you gained some value here. Be careful what you're buying into and make sure that you don't ignore your God-given intuition.